everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and today I am making pretty much an appetizer that I use for a lot of parties. So I call it Dijon shrimp, and that's basically what it is. It's going to be shrimp in a Dijon olive oil vinegar sauce with a few other things, and you can throw this together in a food processor like I just got out, or a Vitamix, or a blender. I suppose you could hand whisk it all if you want to. I like using toys around the, the kitchen when I can. The biggest thing you want to think through, or that I like to think through, I don't know what you want to do, is the shrimp and the quality and quantity of the shrimp. I usually get about two pounds if I'm having a decent sized group of people over, say eight to 10 to 12. And uh, you're just going to use a lot of, uh, you can see me pouring out olive oil. You could use avocado oil, it's a little bit more neutral if you'd like. Um, and I'm just using that looks like white wine vinegar, but more often than not, I use apple cider vinegar. And then a lot of Dijon, some parsley, some spices. But real quickly, I wanted to touch on the, the shrimp. My major concern, well, it looks like a shallot there. I don't think I said a shallot. So rough chop, throw it in there, especially if you're using a Vitamix or something. It's not super important that you get a fine dice there. When you're using shrimp, the, you want to think through, do you want to use farmed shrimp? Do you want to use local shrimp? Do you want to use wild caught shrimp? Those are some of the options to think about. Uh, I've lived in Kentucky. I live in Texas now. The availability of local shrimp was better in one than the other, obviously. So sometimes you're just kind of stuck with where you are. I would prefer fresh wild caught uh, shrimp when I can get it. This was uh, in Kentucky. Now that I'm in Texas, I get uh, cleaned wild caught gulf shrimp. I leave the tails on just because it helps with this dish eating it. People will pick it up by the tail and eat it. You can also serve it with toothpicks. Works just fine. Um, but go ahead and think about the shrimp. Do you want to get it farmed? Sometimes that's not quite as healthy, some people say, as the, the wild shrimp. So I'm just adding, uh, I think I added some salt and some pepper. Well there's the salt. You could also use sea salt. I know some people don't like white kosher salt so you could throw some sea salt in there. Pepper, I put red pepper flakes in, a shallot, garlic, parsley, and uh, basically you're just gonna blend it all together. All that mustard is gonna really help emulsify the sauce so it'll stay together, it probably won't break. And I would suggest that you make enough of this sauce, um, and I'll link to the recipe on my website, that you wanna cover the shrimp. So I get about two pound shrimp, pound and a half of shrimp somewhere in there, and then just cover it. And I try to get in the refrigerator so I'm doing this at one o'clock in the afternoon. I'll have people over on six. So this is about as little time as I want to spend, five hours. Overnight's even better. But you just want to let it sit in the um, olive oil and the mustard for uh, quite a while. And you can see that it took me less than 20 minutes to get all of that together. So there you go, Dijon shrimp. 